In this lecture, let us go through the realization of 7490 mod n counter using multisim. We will go through two mod counters. One is the mod 6 counter and one more is the mod 8 counter. Let us first start with the mod 6 counter. The complete design process of this mod 6 counter is explained in another video. I will leave you the link in the description box. You can just go through that and you can come back for this for further continuation with the multisim. So this is what the circuit realization we are going to have and this is what the concerned truth table we are going to have. So truth table it runs from 0, 0, 0, 0 up to 0, 1, 0, 1 and then it will go back to the value 0 and this process will be cyclic in nature and continues. This is what the circuit realization. Now let us rig up this using multisim. Now let us realize the circuit uh, on uh, multisim. So I am making use of uh, the 7490 which was already designed as a decade counter and I will be just modifying this so that it can work as a mod 6 counter. So as we can observe in the circuit over here. So in the mod 6 counter we are making use of this AND gate and input to this AND gate is the Q1 and Q2 and output of this AND gate will be given to the MR1 and MR2. Now let us configure this over here. First I need to take an AND gate. So select 7408. Okay. So I will be taking one AND gate. So one AND gate is sufficient for us. So let us close this one. I'll be rotating this so that it will be easy for me to further configure this. Now let us make input for this Q1 and Q2 are input. So Q1 is over here. Let's just connect it. So Q1 and one more the q2 and here we need to make certain modifications so let us take out this connection of mr1 and mr2 and let us connect this to the output of the n And uh, maybe this also being shorted over here. Right. So as per this circuit, the configuration is being done. Again, you can observe the clock is kept for one hertz. And as per the truth table suggests, it has to count from the value as you can observe over here. Let me show you the truth table. It has to count from. 0, 0, 0, 0 up to 0, 1, 0, 1 after which it must go back to the value 0. Right? So all connections are being done. Now let us make a verification of it. 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? So as per the as per the uh, truth table it is taking the values. Right? 0, 1, 0, 1 after which it will go back to the value 0. Right? Now this is the realization for a mod 8 counter. So here from Q3 it will be directly connected to MR1 as well as for MR2 and this word the truth table starts from 0, 0, 0, 0. It has to count up to 0, 1, 1, 1 and it must go back to 0, 1 again. Right. So now let us see this on multisim. Okay. So let us configure this for uh, mod 8 counter. So this is existing for mod 6. So I don't need the AND get. So just from Q3 directly connected to MR1 and MR2. So here it is the Q3. And I will just make a connection from uh, MR1 and MR2. Q3. 
shortcut and here it is shortcut. Now it has to work as a mod 8 counter. Let us make a verification of that also. So you can also cross check with the table here. Right, it won't reach. Right, after that it will be entering to the value 0. So it is counting as per the design and the mod 8 counter. Thanks for joining.